Hey guys, how's it going? We want to do a quick walkthrough of going to Attack Online and creating an account and playing in events. So let's go ahead and get started with that. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the website, and that's located at attackonline.com. Now if you click on that Play Now button, it will take you over to the tournament platform, and this is where everything happens. Uh, you're gonna The first page you're seeing here is uh, the dashboard. It has articles about prizes that are up for grab, features that have been added to the platform, League of Legends articles, things like that. And up here in the navigation at the top, you can find tournaments. Right now, queues are down, but they're opening soon, so we'll get in there and show you what that looks like. There's also features like match history. You can check out events that have happened in teams. Leaderboards, you can see who's winning by you know lifetime, yearly, monthly, things like that. So... Let's say that you decided that uh, you want to create an account now that you've checked this out. So the first thing you're going to do is just create, uh, click this actually create account button over here, and uh, you're going to want to fill this out. Okay, and then once you've created an account, uh, you'll see that it gives you this message and that a verification email has been provided. So we need to go to our email address and then verify our account. All right, and now that we have verified the email, all you have to do is log in. So now I should have everything ready to go. Okay, and now I need to link my League of Legends account with my Attack Online account I just created. So I need to enter my summoner name. And as you can see, I have this code. So now we need to go over to the League client. All right, so I just need to log into my League of Legends account now. And that code we got just needs to become the name of one of my rune pages. So we can go ahead and go over to the rune pages and just choose one of them and go ahead and copy this code that we received, change the name, all right. That should be good for that part. Now we just need to go back over to the uh, page where we got the code. Okay, and that's all you have to do is link it and change the name there, and now you're good to go. As you can see, up in the top of the platform now, uh, you have your icon and your rating, and the next thing you're probably going to want to do is go into tournaments. So let's go ahead and go over, and all you have to do is go to the list of tournaments. Uh, the eight teams just ended. There can also be four teams right now. There's two teams, so let's go ahead and queue for that. And you're just going to see that uh, there's three of ten players right now. Um, this might not be overall players. This might just be around my skill level. It expands as it's looking for more players as time passes and also as more players join. So while this is going on, you can go to other sections. You can read the articles on the dashboard. You can go back to the leaderboard. You can go to tournaments and look at tournament history. Uh, you know, you can check out events that have happened in the past and see here a list of teams and who won in the orange here. Uh, you can click on these and see uh, people that uh, were on that team. So you can see what rating they were, you know, what uh, their rank stats are if we click into there. So let's say, you know, you know you're going to be playing against this person. You can see what positions they play. Uh, you can see what you need to ban against them. So and all you have to do is, uh, and there you go. When a tournament fires, that's all you have to do is uh, three minutes until you get your code. Um, just kind of reminds you right here, kind of explains the process of what's going on. Um, my team and then my tournament. So my team is where you interact with other members on your team. My tournament is, uh, you know, the tournament that you're going to be participating in. 
Uh, so you can click this if you don't want to get that anymore. And now you can see the timer up here. And uh, we're just waiting. Once that gets down, then we'll have our code. All right, guys. So we're about to get our code. We're down past the 10 second mark. So we're just waiting on that. It's about to pop. Okay. And these are just the uh, requirements, game owner requirements. Tells you what to do if you get into the lobby and it turns out that you're the first one in there. Uh, that way you just know not to kick any players and not to start the game until all 10 players have been there, things like that. So you're probably going to want to read that your first time. So here you go. As you can see, I'm on Team 1. So I know where to go when I get in there. And I have the code right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this code. I'm going to go over to my League of Legends client. Hit play. Come down to a custom game. And go to tournament code. And uh, let's see. It doesn't look like you can see that right now. So let me turn off that for a second. Okay. And then we're just going to paste our code down here. And hit join game. Now I'm in the lobby. Everyone's here. You can see it automatically put me on team one. Uh, all the other players are there. So it may come in and, and it put you on team one. You have to go to team two. But this time it just ended up right. So we're probably going to be starting soon. Bear, he's okay, guys, so another right thing I've got to mention is yeah. that uh, voice chat. So if I go to my voice chat else has button right there, band. back from the page that I just clicked on, uh, it'll take me to a link in Discord, and there's already a room waiting. You see, I've been invited, and uh, this is just right here. This waiting wildcat is a random name. Whenever teams are created for tournaments, uh, teams will just be assigned a random name, and a room is created in Discord, and it sends you an invite to go there. So you can just click that and be with your team. Uh, you can probably hear them in the background talking at the moment or previously, uh, but I'm in there with them right now, and we're deciding on picks and bands and things like that. Okay, now that we're done with picks and bands and we have our runes, masteries, everything like that, uh, the game's just going to start. Okay, so I finished the event, and as you can see, we won. Since it was a two-team tournament, only one round, I got three qualifier points. Uh, qualifier points are used to get prizes during beta, Amazon gift card rewards, uh, an entry to a $25,000 tournament coming up. So you definitely want to stack those up while you can. So uh, I think that's it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact us using the contact page on the website or pop into our Discord channel. Uh, thanks for watching.